coffee, check. Rods, reels, check. Kayak, check. Tackle, check. What am I missing? No idea. Hopefully nothing. I'm kind of loaded for bear. I got a little of this, a little of that. Some bass sticks, some panfish sticks. We are gonna go on a little bit of an adventure today. And I can pretty much guarantee you where we're going, we're not gonna see a single person. It's a beautiful thing about the kayak is that you can get into these small bodies of water, whether it's a little creek or a river, small lake, whatever it might be. But I'm going in a little walk-in place right now. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna run into, but I got a little cart and a kayak and uh, we're here. Kind of excited to hoof it back there and uh, see what I can see. All right, just getting everything buttoned down. Everything's ready to go. Hummingbirds turned on. Just gonna get myself a little bit of a, a shove out here. Hopefully. There we go. That's ready. Put the pedal drive down. I'll probably just start making my way around the lake a little bit and see what I can come up with. I got a little z cross little Zoom z cross Texas rig. Pretty simple rig, really, just a good old standard pegged Texas rig. A little tungsten on there, three-odd hook. I don't know if there's big fish in here, but I'm just gonna go around and start flipping a little bit. Might go see if I can't find some sunfish and just work my way around the shoreline and just see what I see. Just like that, I'm fishing. Oh gosh, I got a bite. Wow, right away. Well, oh, this will be interesting. A little large mouth, not a big one, but that's a bite. No sooner got the boat into the water and I'm catching fish. That's the beauty about these little backwood lakes nobody's out here and nobody's gonna be out here so I got this thing all to myself and looks like I might go ahead and catch me some more bass maybe there's a big one in here who knows I don't know what's in here that's the fun about it you have no idea what you might run into on a little lake like this there's another one I think yeah yep, sure enough <laughs> Come here, you little bugger. All right. They are aggressive in here because they haven't seen a bait since probably last summer. <laughs> I like easy fish. Who doesn't? So I keep easing my way along the shore here and seeing what I see. A lot of wood in here. Looks like it's a pretty hard break. I'm probably 25 feet off the shore right now and it's 13, 14 feet. There's a lot of wood down here it looks like. So I opted for a little Texas rig plastic. And there's a bite. There's one. Another one. Nothing big, but that doesn't mean that there might not be a big one in here. It appears that there's a lot of these. I feel weird out here just kind of doing a vlog like this out in the middle of nowhere, talking to myself. I hope there's not some bird watchers or something that come down the shoreline. Who's that crazy guy out in the kayak talking to himself? There's something to be said about the excitement of Oh, what's around the next corner? What's around that point? Or what's around that island back there? So I'm just like moving and it's really nice because I can just do that hands-free. You know, I got a little lever down here. I can direct the boat with the back rudder. So I can be real hands-free. I can poke along, stop, go, fish real comfortably without having to sit here with a paddle and, and do that, put it down, fish, move, pick up the paddle, you know. So, it, 
it's real convenient in that aspect. <clears throat> Little guy. Now this leg's big enough where, boy, I don't know if I'm gonna make it around this whole thing today, to be honest with you. You look at the map and you see something and you go, that's not that big. But then you actually get here and you go, oh, it's a little bigger than I thought. Here's the main lake point. This is one of the big main lake points anyway. You can kind of get a good look around here. It's awfully pretty. And the beautiful thing is, is I'm the only one here. I know this lake hasn't seen much for fishing pressure, so you never know. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. See if we can't, we got a nice high sun. I'm gonna see if I can't do a little looking around for some for some bluegills. They're right along this weed edge in about six to eight feet, I would say, kind of off of the break. See what happens here. Cast it up around these little lily pads. See if anybody, oh, they're hitting the cork. Oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? Okay, okay. Okay. Huh. Huh. Hmm. The bluegill there. Pretty cool. First one. I'm all right with that. This is at 6'2 wide eye. I just packed this thing right in the bottom of the kayak, but this is just a great little panfish stick for corking around or keeping it simple here today. I got six pound mono on here, so you get me into the pads a little bit, I can kind of horse them out of it just a touch. It's really long, actually. They're not built like a typical bullheaded. Heck, that's probably eight inches long, but he's really thin. He's not tall. Oh, that was cool. Watch him come up and eat it. Took my bobber off and saw some fish right underneath me. Out a little deeper water, just drop vertically right on them. Ooh, he bit the heck out of that one. Nice. All right, look at there. Cool. Right underneath the boat. Oh. Pretty little bluegill. That's probably gonna wrap it up for me. I'm gonna call it a day here. Might go see if I can catch a few more, but that's kind of the gist of it. You know, I didn't get it, run, I didn't, you know, I didn't run into any big fish today, but that's okay. I got out here and enjoyed this lake. This lake is not seen many people and it's pretty enough for I'll definitely come back to it again at some point in time. So that's the that's beauty of kayak fishing is you can get out to waters and explore new places that you'd never been, that you, you know, that you, you just can't get to them with a regular boat, so. One more.